Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the morning of Friday, July 14th, 2023. Sitting in for Paul Harvey this morning. Stand by for the rest of the story. Well, I'm bios. Bastille Day, I figured I would give you a uh, heroic story today. And, you know, for the last three or four weeks now, uh, Indiana Jones has came with its latest installment uh, with 80-year-old Harrison Ford in the lead, uh, poor guy, 80 year old and still doing Indiana Jones. Well, you do know that Indiana Jones is a fictional character. Yes. But there actually was a real, quote, Indiana Jones. And his name was Missouri Sam. Now, Sam lived in Missouri. And you guys from Missouri, you know Missouri! <laughs> and he has exploits that could make Indiana Jones pale in comparison. For what Indiana Jones did with the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and the Temple of Doom! Oh yeah, the Lost, uh, you know, Brigade, the Lost, uh, Crusade there, and then his latest movie, which, according to the critics, it's tanking. Uh, uh yeah, okay. But Missouri Sam, he was a real character, and for forty-four years he lived the part. There were stories all over the place of Missouri Sam. The one time. He encountered a python that was eight foot tall and twice as big as a man's neck and swung at him and he just barely missed it uh, yeah, and got away. And the time he got swallowed up by water which went in through his boots and because of the boots and his clothes and the water heaviness uh, he sank to the bottom and he was wailing around trying to find something and finally he found a piece of wood and boy he came out and away went Missouri uh, yeah over the time you know you've seen uh Indiana Jones with his uh, whip and the way he beats up Nazis. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And the rolling ball going after him and he misses it by a mile or as Maxwell Smart and Get Smart would tell you, miss me by that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. Sam found this match one time. He swung and he hit the person. The person swung back and threw him five feet up in the air and crashing to the wall. Picked him up like a rag potato. She was six foot something and uh, 220. I said she was six foot something and 220. And according to Missouri, Sam uh, swung her arms like a big right cross, which hit him like he got hit by the Empire State Building. <laughs> oh yeah, Missouri Smith lived. Uh, Missouri Sam lived a nice, beautiful life for forty-four years that he did it. So you see, there was a real Indiana Jones. He came up and came through different uh, items. One time he was uh, 
hijacked and the lady told him he had to be there until the gods could determine his fate. So he put himself on all fours and started to pray to God for half an hour. So he finally decked the lady. That's the 220, what's her name, lady. Finally, he got her off stride and got a lick in, but he got, she got more licks than he did, poor Sam. Oh, yeah. And like I said, he did this for 44 years. And what jungles did he go to? What, uh, I mean, didn't meet any Nazis, but what the bad guys did he incur? Well, the jungle is probably St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> and the bad guys are the people that he went to read the gas meter at. Oh, yeah. And all this is true, by the way. For Missouri, Sam was a gas meter reader. And he had to have all these incredible people that he met trying to read their gas meter. And all the lumps and bruises that he took for 44 years. Wow. And all the creatures he encountered in these houses and strange looking houses and oh boy, basements that he went into. Quicksand and all the good stuff. Yeah. So you see, and Mr. Par Harvey, if you can hear me up there with the boss, people should realize that for every uh, science fiction character, there's always the real person. And Sam Giancali of St. Louis, Missouri, for the St. Louis Gas Department, was a real guy for 44 years. Now, you know the rest of the story. Sitting in for Paul Harvey, this is your favorite alien. Good day. <laughs>